buster Where you up to? What you up to, buster? Where you up to now? Where you gonna be? Who you gonna see there? Let's find out who says we'll shake See the things you've done? We could have some fun there Let's find out what friends we'll make Buster, where you up to? What you up to, buster? Where you up to now? Yeah, yeah, yeah Ring around the globe from North Pole to South Pole. Riding on horses, ferries, trains, and planes. Hiking, biking, swimming at the seashore. He's got his camera and he's gonna explore all the new things he's never done before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Buster, where you up to? What you up to, Buster? Where you up to now, 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 now? Hey, Buster, where you up to? Meet me at the fair. I've come looking for a prize. I'll find it in your smiling eyes. If you'll just meet me at the fair, I will find you anywhere. Oh, meet me at the fair in Indiana. According to the Farmer's Almanac, we can expect mostly sunny skies with warm temperatures for the next couple of days. Sounds like perfect weather for our outdoor concert at the county fair. Yeah, and it's also a good time to bring in the hay. I didn't know you were so into farming. I'll be staying on a farm for the next couple of days. Whose farm is it? Somebody my mom went to college with. She has a kid my age. Oh, I hope she's nice. Do you know what kind of farm it is? I don't know. The regular kind? My grandfather had a dairy farm. I used to help him milk the cows. Hey, do you think you could teach me? It's kind of hard to learn without an actual cow to practice on. But according to this, Indiana has 860,000 cows. I don't think they're going to expect you to milk any cows. But if I don't know how, I'm going to look like some city kid who's just lived in a condo all his life and doesn't know how to count his chickens before they hatch. Seatbelts, everyone. We'll be landing in Indiana in about 20 minutes. This may not be a good year for wheat. Look at all that corn. Let's see. Corn. There are several varieties of edible corn that may be planted when the moon is full. Why don't you take a break from that almanac? For problems with weevils, see page 250. Indiana farm country is beautiful. Maybe you should turn on that camera and get this on film. You're right, Dad. It's so green and flat, and the sky is so big. I should be getting this. Rolling down this road between your fields of green Looking for a friend beneath the biggest sky I've ever seen Oh, Indiana, wonder what I'll find there In all these open spaces, I hope to find a friendly face in Indiana all these open spaces, I know I'll find a friendly face in Indiana. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Buster. I'm so glad you could come. Thanks. I will introduce you to my daughter, Lauren. Hi, Buster. This is my husband, Larry. Hi, Buster. And this is my son, Nathan. Howdy, Buster. Hi, and this is my dad, Bo. Thanks for having me. Well, we're so glad to have you at our farm. Are you ready for a taste of life in the country? I think so. Great, come on, let's go see some stuff. Bye, Buster. I'll meet you tomorrow at the fair, okay? Okay, bye. Do you wanna go see my pig? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna show her at the fair. Show the pig? What do you mean? You gotta compete against different pigs. Do they do tricks? No, it's how much muscle and meat they have on them. Buster, this is Francine. Francine, this is Buster. Hey, I have a friend named Francine, but she's a girl, not a pig. <coughs> Whoa, did she just growl at me? Don't be scared, Buster. Francine's got some muscle. <coughs> Whoa. Hey, Buster, do you want to go see our horses? Yeah. 
I'd love to have a horse, but they aren't allowed where I live. It's just the usual pets. Dogs, cats, gerbils. I mean, I could get a gerbil, but you can't saddle it up and ride it around, so what's the point? Whoa, is that horse kind of big for its size? This is Penny. Um, what's she eating? Oats. These are oats, Buster. Horses aren't carnivores, are they? No, they eat, um, hay and they eat grass and they drink water. Let me guess, you'll take oats with a side order of hay. In this barn there is uh, horses and hay and oats and stuff that they might need when they're doing stuff. Hey, what's that? What? What's what? That thing, over there. That's a 49 Plymouth. Are you sure? Do you know where I came from? No, I'm not sure. Just as I thought. You guys know your horses and pigs, but I know a UFO when I see one. <laughs> Bad year for wheat, but we're just in time to bring in the hay. Buster, come on, I'll show you something else. get to drive a forklift? Where does the hay come from? A uh, hay field. Then what happens? First you cut it, then you dry it, then you roll it up in the bales. Whoa, step back. You haven't seen a cow before? Well, of course I have. Just not this close. They're huge. Yes, they are. Are they dangerous? Sometimes they are when they kick, but you try not to get behind them. Hey, Buster, do you want to go for a ride? Sure. Okay, now hold on. Um, do your parents let you drive this? Yes. How old are you? Ten. How long have you been driving this thing? For about a year. Wow, you're a good driver. Can you go backwards, too? Yep. Let me see. Ready? How about sideways? Can you go sideways? We gotta get ready for supper because the competition's tomorrow, so we have to get to bed early. Let's go. Supper? But I just had lunch. And how can you even think about bedtime? It's not even dark yet. Sunset is at 8.42 p.m. <sighs> Moonrise is at 11.17. Sunrise is at 5.58 a.m. Aww, why does it have to be so early? <laughs> 6.15. Oh, good. I'll just go back to sleep. Mmm, what's that smell? I better go downstairs and find out. I think they're calling for rain, though, this afternoon, a thunderstorm. Um, good morning. Well, good morning, Buster. Nothing like sleeping in. But it's 619. I only got 10 hours of sleep. Well, would you like to join us for breakfast? Sure. Okay, we're having French toast. Do you like French toast? Yes, please. You guys seem so awake. Did I miss something? I had to clean the house, and I had to feed the cats, and I had to walk the pigs. I bailed hay this morning, took out the garbage, and fed the horses. Before breakfast, in the dark, is that really a good idea? That's the best time to get the work done. If you wait till this afternoon, it's too hot. So you start your day before the day starts. Yes, we do. Why don't you put your camera down so you can eat with the rest of us, okay. all right? At least I didn't miss breakfast. Hey, Buster, when get breakfast finished, do you think you could give us a hand loading those pigs this morning? You mean I can help out? Yeah, we always need a good helping hand. Here comes Francine. I'm... Putting my pig in the trailer so I can take him to the fair. 
<laughs> and the other friend scene doesn't like to be told what to do either. Get a trailer. I guess they're more alike than I thought. Get in the trailer. Francine, you gotta get in the trailer. You can't win a prize if you don't go to the fair. Bye, Francine. <laughs> See you at the competition. Wow, I've never seen so many pigs in one place. I hope it doesn't turn ugly. Francine looks shiny. We're putting skin so soft in the pig's skin. Why? It makes them darker color, makes them look bigger. I think she looks like a winner today, don't you? Yeah, I think she does. Hey, Francine, do your best out there, okay? Watch out, Francine. Some pigs get pushy under pressure. Who's this? Another competitor? This is Stub. His name is because his tail is really short. His mom stepped on it when he was really small and made it really small. And uh, he is seven months. Don't chew on my foot. <laughs> Don't let the judges see you do that, Stub. You might lose some points. We're going to take Francine into showmanship. She looks like a perfect pig to me, but it's not up to me. That must be the judge. I hope he picks Francine. Woohoo! The crowd is going wild. What does that mean? Has he picked a winner already? It didn't go too well. I guess I didn't do what the judge was looking for today. Well, I think you should have won. But it's not over yet. Now Nathan's in the ring with Stub the Foot Chewer. They're judging the pigs. And right now, I got pinned. Well, what does that mean? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's a good thing, but then I think it's a bad thing. The prizes. Maybe Stub still has a shot. Nathan Jernis to the stage. Yes, we have a winner! <laughs> Congratulations, Nathan. Thanks, Buster. <laughs> Let me get a good angle on that trophy. I still don't get why one pig wins and another loses. What are they judging the pigs on exactly? They judge on which pig has the most muscle and meat, and they're gonna go to the market. Go to the market? Well, what do you mean? On Friday, we'll sell them, and then they get slaughtered. You, they, what? But, but doesn't that make you sad? Um, no, not really. I mean, Sometimes it does because you like the pig so much you're attached to it, but most of the time it doesn't because it's just an animal and you need food to eat. I think that winning is good, but most of the time I just think that it's fun to do stuff at the fair. You're always having fun there. So where do you want to go, Buster? Everywhere. Okay. Chicken's always this loud? You do a great chicken. And that's a cool tattoo. Oh, hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. Where'd you get it? Well, I got it here in the United States, but I've lived all over the world, so I wanted to get a compass and, and a tattoo of the world around it. I like it. Well, I gotta go. Hey, take care. Bye. Enjoy the fair. Thanks, you too. Let's see if I can talk chicken. Baby goat. How do they get their heads through the fence like that? Buster, come on. Oh, coming. 
Is it okay if I come in for a closer angle? Yeah, come on. Do you think the camera will spook her? Nope, she's real sweet, see? She likes hugs. We're gonna um, get her ready to exercise so I can ride her. She looks a little wild. I got her under control. I've been riding since I was three. These are spurs. Do they hurt? Yep, they're a little sharp, but if you jab them really hard, then it hurts them, but. This is a safety helmet. I have to wear that. We gotta put on the bridle. This is your last practice before the competition tomorrow. I know. Bye. Have fun. Does the horse, I mean Bee, have fun too? She likes to be ridden. I really hope Lauren wins something tomorrow. Oh. Hey, Buster, do you want to ride with me? Uh, well, I've never ridden a horse before. That's okay. I guess it's kind of like riding a bike. Yeah. Except with no handlebars and no way to touch the ground. Uh, I'd hate to fall off of B. Whoa. Don't look down. But I have to look somewhere. Just look straight ahead. Okay, straight ahead. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I've been riding since I was three, remember? What are you doing with the reins? I'm controlling the horse. Hey, it's like driving, except where's the brake? Whoa. Cool. Now make her go again. Are you having fun? I can see why you like this. Thanks, Lauren. You're welcome. Hi, Buster. Dad! Where's Lauren? She had to go back and get ready for the horse competition. So how's the farm? Have you milked any cows yet? No, but Lauren is really nice. And she took me for a ride on her horse. And she has a pig named Francine. I'm glad you're having fun and trying new things. Yeah, and we met this guy who has a really cool tattoo. Can I get one? Uh, no. Buster, I want you to see some friends of mine play. They're called the Deep Fried Pickle Project. Fried pickles. Mm. Are these the fried pickles? Wait a minute, is this a new sport? Wow! Gotcha! Woo! <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. Oh. Three. There they are, Buster. Hey, that's the tattoo guy from the chicken coop. Well, he's part of the Deep Fried Pickle Project, your first jug band. Why are they called a jug band? Because of the instruments they play. Well, that's a fiddle. But what's that called? It's a washtub bass. And that's a washboard. They make their own instruments. Cool. I bet Daniel and Alan would show you how to make one of those. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay. They can take you with them right after the concert. Hey, Buster. We're going to go make some instruments. We've got to find some materials. Let's go. Great. I don't see any musical instruments. This is a hardware store, guys. See, what we need here, we need a hammer. And even a hammer can be a musical instrument. Listen to the ringing of the tractor gears. Now, Buster, if you grab one of those sticks over there... Okay. We're gonna help you build one of these, and you're gonna have a string attached to the middle of this, and then this stick right here, you're gonna plunk the string, and it's gonna produce a cool sound. If I could pay all these bills with my guitar, then I would pay these bills with some rock and roll. sounds just like it's supposed to. I did a good job on that washtub base. Whoa. Cool. Uh, Lauren can do anything. She drives tractors and takes care of cows. She trains pigs and rides horses. And what have I been doing with my life? I've been reading the Farmer's Almanac, but she's been living it. Buster, you've traveled the world. 
That's true. And you built this washtub base? I guess that's something. And you discovered a comet? Kind of by accident, but I guess it counts. And you're really good with that camera. Uh, maybe you're right. I hope to get to film Lauren winning a prize at the horse competition. Well, you'll find out pretty soon. I've got to help Carlos and Mora pick up some sound equipment so you get to ride back to the fair with Lauren. starting to look a little nervous. What about you, B? Are you nervous? I am. And make sure you count your two and a half. So which way so you turn. One, two, You're turning three. into the woods both times. Are you nervous, Lauren? A little bit. But there's so much to remember. Turn, walk, trot, lope, face this way, face that way. So when you go in, you would wait for the acknowledgement. Thank you. You go to that. Mailbox, you walk this one. So the it's gate. walk, walk, try, lope, walk, 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 walk. walk study it. Walk, walk, try, lope. Good luck, Lauren. Thanks, Buster. Okay, they're going. This is it. Oh, I hope she remembers all the lopes and the turns and the walks. Quarter turn, quarter turn. Good girl. Good. Switch. Good girl. Double circles and then that's in a figure eight. Good girl. She's looking. Walk. Walk your horses, please. Walk. Trot. Trot your horses. Looking good. Cancer, cancer your horses, please. Cancer. Your time starts now. This is the part where they have to change clothes and saddles really, really fast. Lauren told me that there are two different styles of riding, English and Western. When you ride English, you wear one thing, and when you ride Western, you have to wear another. And the same goes for the horse. Now Lauren's ready for Western. something about 42.363. What does that mean? Is it good or bad? Good. We're just waiting on pins and needles to find out how we did. You are going super fast at the end. What did it feel like? Rockety. It's like, woo! There's the first place winner. Oh, I can't stand it. Call Lauren. Call In Lauren. In second place, number 89, Lauren Journey. We have a winner! I knew it! I wasn't worried at all. Um, I got in second place. Show me the ribbon! Show me the ribbon! Ah, good job. It's like, I want to kiss too. I can kiss you, B. You good girl. So, Lauren, what do you want to do now? Hey, Buster, I'll take you up on the Ferris wheel. A Ferris wheel will take us round and round. And as we ride up in our airborne seats, we can see everything from here. Yep. This is my kind of ride.
gonna miss farm life, Dad. Well, you can stay in touch with Lauren and visit the farm again. Yeah. Hey, Dad, if I can't get a tattoo, can I get a horse? I could ride it to school, and I know Mom wouldn't mind, so can I, huh? Can I? No, 